Na, sziasztok! Ismét egy kis... Mass Effect Andromeda. Hát, mit tudom, a mai nap egyszerűen nem akart az a... Fenyom, átlőtt helyezőt, ami akkor is bazd meg basztatok, itt egyszerűen a... likes to think he's keeping an eye on us. Works both ways. Yo, cool. Colonial Bears, please advise the Reverend Tan of your status. This is how all those worlds look from the Nexus. Jó, van kora. Nem tudom, hogy nem ilyen szerve. Akkor átem, de... Köcsögös körül. Vedje feje, de nem úgy, hogy megyek lejjebb a tem. Fel 
Koro wanted to check in with you. Goody buzz me. Then a more measure make it with just called stream up with me. Mi az, hogy nincs internet, azt hiszem szegélyük, mi online kanyit tudsz eljárt. Nóm, mert se látszik. Egyszerűen nem látom az adót. Ki az ott tudni? A wifi basztatja az adót. Vezeték nélkül a szart se ér az egész. Just some light scatter from ice in the scourge. I'll recalibrate the sensors for bloody nuisance cloud.
kap të këmëtel azim e ti të njërë e rënëm të kukës Fuaj të thëmë Pa të i zohë të ashtë Find the way Remove some memory of locals I don't know. Tad's pretty busy. I'd have left it alone. If I ever told us a little bit, then it's good to touch. I'll be to take him a little kid over. Yeah, I'll go get the car. For the stash. A bar opens on the Nexus. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Once we gather a few more colonies, we'll be taking you over to the Nexus. This is not I'll make it right, Dash. Damned exiles. I promise. Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. He's okay? Vitals are steady, but I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. They're in a coma. Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish yes, a link to his implant. Proceed. Scott, can you hear me? Is that you, Sarah? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is Dad okay? About... I'm not sure how to say this, but... He's dead, Scott. What? There was... an accident. What do you... Accident? How... I mean, Dad... I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. I hope Dad got to see it. He did. I should be with you now. Now go <laughs> You were never one to quit, little brother. A nap won't hold you back. Yeah, I guess so. Dad would want us to push on. So would Mom. Yeah, wherever they are. I figure Mom is keeping him the business for him. What happened? The connection was only temporary. His condition remains stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Got 
tény, hogy azt mondja, túlterhet, nem elérhető. An expedition to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant of origin. Known to the Sari scientist, Pelissaria Vesail. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on Eos. This is a shadow. When I turn you can I'll be It's you. The version A. Pass. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Halleck tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to investigate further. Ezt próbál, azt próbált, hogy te egyszerűen nem akartál működni a mondásra. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait. I can actually see his memories? Yes. You will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those deaths from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. 
Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories that they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains <laughs> nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated adaptive matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. That's all for now. Of course. Keres emlékeket, amiket el mennyit szem. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What do you mean by the norm of the Most fel, mit tudom, mi van a kezébe van. Aktiváld a rendszert. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal locks. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Masari. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara Tassoni. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. 
She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but... He's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Hmm, is that what it? What happened? Can we learn that? Ah, a shell, a shell. Agora deixa eu ver um vídeo. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Your father's personal logs. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, 
When is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances Sociology to exo-archaeology. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Yeah, Back when Turians were the enemy. Yeah, Crazy be. times. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. You, Pathfinder, I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Yeah, go go. Get the girl down there. Yeah, and this is mine of my soul. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'
Very catch up today. Ich glaube mir auch nicht, ich bin nicht der. Das ist immer Cherry. Mi van szabad, én nem döntetem el, miket rakok be. Belpakolt itt neked meg. Bad message. Ah, bad message. Damn, I'm not fast enough. Did you see me stand sober? I didn't turn bad message. Mind egyik bil egyet egyet nem mert hogy mit tudom én csak biotika lenne be a kór. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Let me know what materials you need, and I'll find you something. That's a relief. Thanks for helping out. I owe you one. Tell our leaders! Wake the sleepers! Free our families! Tell our leaders! Wake the sleepers! Make them hear. Make them know. Make them lead or make them go. Tell our leaders, wake the sleepers. Make them hear, make them know, make them lead or make them go. Our nexus, our lives. Tell our leaders. Hey, wait, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But because you wanted military personnel, people tagged as scientific support have to wait again. 
All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Let's say you this. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those 10 soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Mm. Tell our leaders, wake the sleepers. Let's say Kandros. Ryder, we exiled the prisoner, Nilkin. Tough decision based on what you uncovered on Eos. His wife, Mariette, insisted on going with him. It's hard to let go of someone you love. So it seems. It'll be a tough life out there for her. For them. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. We only just got on our feet, plus it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Let's give us that. The human pathfinder has died. Alec Ryder was killed after touching down on the Habitat 7 in the Earth system. Ryder's daughter reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest and the ongoing search for all. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. 
I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Én nem kaptuk meg az e-mailt, ezt úgy csak amit csodán tudom. Majmok az őrbe, vedd fel a pirákokat, de megszóltok őrbe. Jó, akkor be kéne először. We are one young pie jack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Is it that the we have put Tempest down? Good morning. Koro wanted to check in with you. I want Carlo. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. Like He'll be fine, won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and Still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Rosa Helios. 
That's exactly It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? Mia. The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? Obama used to be. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Hi there. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's Cross-Species Military Integration Initiative. Your time defending Silva's expedition was probably more important. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. The Prothean digs woke us up to how much we don't know, and to what humanity's next leap might be. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. Fish gets that. We needed to start over somewhere new. Together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out. But I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. 
After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. Uh, it says, uh, historic. After four years with the Sari Commandos, he must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Det går för Guni. Det är snämt att ge mig sånt där. Men man tror att det är snämt att ta en tur. Det är fel att man behöver köra sig med varje sorinta. Det är mer tillräckligt. Snälla vårt. Så jag checkar och checkar i bara att köra det. Jag har inte köra det med sånt där. Jag har inte köra det med sånt där. Det är en av de salarien som jag har sett i den här tiden. Mert miértünk egy ilyen hajókat megtalál. Strike Vision, viszont mehet kell. Sőt, csapás, mit tudom, mi remény. Fagyasztás. Akkor ez meg. Szkenneld az Andromeda állatvilágát. Akkor az én mellék. Elveszett testvér. Az egyen kirelő, hogy nem is ez a megszűszor. Ez konkrétan vissza kell venni a... Ja, akkor egy másikat így, mert nem itt az államásra. 
bit of a hero. Get it, Becca. The human pathfinder has died. Alec Ryder. Yeah, I'm like, wait a second, I'm gonna look at the page. Same with the same. Put her up for the other cake. Yes. Hard to do that. Well, I'll be at the end of the cake for you. You're listening to HNS, your source for news in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda Initiative. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Huh? Eh? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Building a military outpost so early has been pretty controversial. Kandros approves, but others say it paints the initiative as a conqueror. Egy picit katonai erőst, ez már meg Kendrus szerzi, beszélünk, mit, mit akarsz? I hope the cats see a military presence, and know we're not taking their attacks lying down. Our leaders are hoping that too. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. But footage of that remnant vault is sealed. Can we get a model? As me. Scan night is a hot mini of my dance. It's so bad you can get it in it, boy. He has so good. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. Yes, you cheat to that. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Get them to me, you'll be good. You should have done that. Good. A ray of hope for sleep-starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sun lamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. This is HNS. Jó, akkor ezt se lehet itten. Remenent adatkó maguk. Ez is megint el kell ezzel is hagyni. Nem tudom. Itt 
Nyil kir deh ya. It's in the front. Csak egy másik oldal. Another power short. Can uh, go. Colony start test. Tell the ship test. So glad I went to school for this. Thanks for nothing. Get it out. Get it out. Get Top scientists have a few answers. The dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. I'm sorry, Lana. They're just trying to boost our morale. Another power short. An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. Have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You've been keeping Pathfinder, count. I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Rushan, that's not funny. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Hydroponics reports oxygen production is not... Yeah, I'm Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesh and me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. Attention, civil disobedience. 
уничтожить. It isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? How You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Hmm. What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. 
and eggs won't get you steak. Uh, Except it's people and how all our lives begin. What was that? All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Can spend up attendance. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. So you get over to the FT. So you take a great double. Yeah. Banya Satin Village. Got on a Különleges erők, vadászat, resistance az nem tudom menni, apex tactic, és mit kell választani? Commerience, instinct trúra, jöjj majd kell kereskedelmi, kapacitás. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Spend everything in green pack. Most ennyi ideig várni kell, míg ez... Pathfinder, maybe you can clear this up. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go-round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that, that it's safe now, is it? You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Captain Bed General is the inspector of the tower. Fallout from the recent uprising has security tightens across all sectors on the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's quote for your safety. This is HNS. I can't wait to be assigned to an outpost. This place is amazing. Fallout from the 
She wants to talk to you. Anomaly on sensors. This is the line you make of a monolensa. It's what you can make a mess. Thanks. Unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now. Let's get to you. Cat ships. A dozen. No more. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report! Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tov, Chagalesto. Tov, Chagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear we're the galactic good guys. Ethanola, Farhan and Gasad Regara. Ethanola. They're forcing us to land. 
then we land. Yes. <sighs> Look at that. It's beautiful. That vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? What do you think? <laughs> hey, I'm the ghost. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. What's happening? I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. How did it find us? She, not it. And stop staring. Why is Baran allowing this? None of the loop. Put that away. It's just a scanner. How long until the cat Put it away now. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. I think I could take it. Everything 
This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. I'd love to study its physiology. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this. Alien, I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. You do regret it. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely.
Angela Arna Dabra. Maybe I'm total blind. I get to you. Ship's fixed up and ready to fly. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Man. Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jals told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay, 
Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Kello the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Sentire questo tempo sono una titola di Put us the wall that still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? Hello, Sarah. Meeting with Yangara is truly historic. I'll say. My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Yeah, I hate the How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch? He was sleeping in mine.
Új profil megnyitva. Mérnek. Thank you. 